Chan Chan was the largest mud-built city in the world. Indeed, when at its prime, about 700 years ago, this was one of the largest cities in the world. It is also, in its form and planning, a very, very wonderful and extraordinary place. Chan Chan spreads out over eight square miles and is linked by wide streets protected by tall walls. Some of the walls were once decorated with beaten gold panels, which have long since disappeared. The city has suffered at the hands of the elements, but there's enough left to show what brilliant builders and engineers the Chimu people were. The mighty city was divided into ten separate citadels, each really a little wall city in its own right. These were defined by high walls, about 15 metres high. Within each of these little citadels, there was um, and all the sort of things a city has, public buildings, administration buildings, temples, private houses, and a palace or two. And here we see the remains of this complex and strange urban structure. These tall walls were partly for defence, but mostly they were to make life as comfortable as possible in the town. They act as windbreaks and also being made of mud, adobe brick, they have incredible um, properties of insulation. Thick mud walls keep the um, heat out in the summer and the warmth in in the winter. Here also you see this nets are um, pattern is perforated, so it's kind of a, lets air creep in, cross ventilation from the outside to the inside in very hot summer days. Um, it's all in all a very ingenious arrangement, making this natural material do a lot of jobs at once, keeping you warm, keeping you cool, and keeping you safe. The Chimu people's reverence for nature is reflected in their architecture. Some of the walls take the form of fishing nets and are decorated with images of their gods, including seabirds and fish. This um, decoration is largely Original, maybe partly repaired, but most of it is, uh, I suppose, 700 years old. It says so much about the, the belief, the belief of the people here. We have fish and we have pelicans. They venerated the sea and water, sea water for fish, fresh water for life itself, for, for plants, for irrigation. There's water, I suppose, too, represented there by the horizontal bands. Water made the difference between the Chimu's survival and extinction. Their great achievement was to build a thriving civilization in the most arid and exposed of locations. Golly, from up here one gets a, a sense of the vast scale of Chan Chan. It stretches as far as the eye can see. Citadel after citadel, wall after wall, one beyond the other. Also, from here, one can see what this place is all about. Water. Over there, you see the sea. Waves breaking. So there we have the fruits of the sea, fish being gathered. And just there, what looks like a pond. Ornamental now, but originally, that was full of growing vegetables things to keep the population alive. What these people did, they dug right down to groundwater to get fresh water. So fresh water, salt water, fish and vegetables to support and sustain this gigantic population. A population that depended almost entirely for its livelihood on irrigation and on the fruits of the sea. No wonder they venerated water. <laughs> The Chimu Empire was crushed not by the Spanish, but in the late 15th century by the Inca king who created Machu Picchu. 
Chan Chan was plundered for his riches and abandoned to the elements. <laughs> 